I agree. And all looks like it's starting up here. Mm -hmm. So I will start. If you're in the chat and you're watching along here, I'm going to start the bet. The top uh, you could do if you want to, if you have points and stuff. I don't know. You put a number in it, but it's um, exclamation point BET space, either top or bottom. And then a number of points that you want to bet on it. Uh, top player will be not floaty K. He's in the bottom screen this time. So uh, these two matches here, let's get to the, the, mm -hmm. the pairings. And now we All can right. see everything. So, yeah. So what is he actually go on on here by uh, Scott on this one? So I got to find him. But this is going to be, uh, ooh, he got the Jirachi down. Okay. And he's only starting off with the Jirachi. Yeah, you Interesting don't wanna, choice. You don't want to reveal. Um, you never want to reveal your hand. So just putting one Pokemon down. Oh, it seems like it's going to be a single strike. So that could be a pretty <laughs> good matchup if they all ever, everything's considered, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's interesting. I thought uh, we got quite a match looking through the meta of this event here. Yes. Just an amazing... So I'm seeing this here. Okay, so we are looking at Scott's here. I'm... Looking at his deck list. And we're looking up there. So yeah. Oh, they, I, I found him. I yep. finally found him. I realized what he actually goes by on here now. <laughs> uh, he's playing Pastor 22, who's yep. in the top. Uh, he is currently running a, looks like also a, interestingly enough, yeah, single strike or er, Urshifu deck uh, only. Uh, four Hound Dooms, four Hound, uh, four Hound Dooms, four Hound Doors, uh, a four three line of the single strike Urshifus, one Eldegoss, and one Cricketune. I like the Cricketune uh, edition. I do too. You know that I thought, but here's the thing I find a little interesting is the three urns of vitality in there. I three. am not a, the only hey. three. I don't you, know. You would think that you want a fourth. I think urn is one of the most important parts to a single striker Shifu it really uh, is. list for sure. So I don't know if you just didn't have room for it, but um, we'll see if that uh, come back uh, to bite him. And yeah, thank you, uh, um, Ashton, for coming in and playing an attorney. Yeah, Hopefully um, you have a great time and, you know, you, you do well and you have a chance to get into that top eight to get some of this prize support that we are having uh, given out here for sure. Yeah. Oh, man, look at this. OK, so this is a pretty good setup of what I'm seeing here, Jake. I don't know about you, uh, but it's looking, you know, for that first turn, I'm I think he's in a good spot. He got that quick ball to follow up with. He got, a, you know, he got the scoop up net to deal with his Jirachis. Um, and then two, two of the rapid strikes already down. I yep. wonder how uh, past year 22 is going to respond to this. Yeah, uh, so we'll see if he can get uh, everything out he needs um, to get set up. He's not going to be hitting this turn, but he can definitely get out a single strike and use his first attack and really load up his, his single strike Urshifu and then possibly gust things next turn and actually have a chance for a really big KO. Right. I think one of the interesting things, well, because he can do that laser focus to get that energy on there. Um, and the other thing I, I find interesting is the fact that, you know, Scott did not get any energy placed uh, that round, which is kind of a it hurts. I think hurts rapid strike a little bit. Not that much, it, but it would be more painful for a single strike, in my opinion, because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at least he can do the one attached per turn and kind of and now that he has two Urshifus out there, if he can get them both to be B max, he can kind of just. 150, 150, and kind of go back and forth between the bench and active and just kind of keep hitting in that direction. Right. Now, that was a great play there. He got rid of his single strike energies and was able to bring him back because he had the urn. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, as we talked about there, I think one of the concerns I, we have with only having the three urns is he's down to two urns left. And yep. they're kind of a late game decision, too. Uh, so using them early like that is a little sketchy, uh, you know, a little scary at the same time. Uh, but he tops the rapid strike, so that's that's huge. Yes. Rapid getting that energy right off the bat. Um, you know, he can come in and knock out that Houndoom, no problem if he evolves uh, that that Urshifu into the VMAX version. Ooh, picking him. Yeah, there we go. There we go. He's gonna he's gonna chase for it. He's gonna really deny that energy acceleration of the single strike. And uh, let's see if he does it because he has two professors a Marnie. Uh, I have him feeling he's just going to professor away and not do that Marnie play. Yeah, who sorry. Do you, I'm who just, do you think he goes for? Oh, you're good. Um, I was just responding to some questions in our Discord. I uh, I apologize, but I would say 
that Scott definitely wants to get that Crobat to get extra draw out there and kind of set up that second Urshifu. Um, doesn't look like he got it there, but he still has options where he can probably professors. I don't know if he really wants the Marty to give his opponent more cards a wall. He, as wow. I say that, he does. He does. That was an interesting call. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. I know he's taking out the Houndoom this turn either way. So that's, you know, that's definitely helpful. Uh, oh, no. Uh, did he rotate into him? Is that uh, not I do not know if he did. But if he, if he didn't rotate into him while he was evolved, it's not going to work. That's what happened. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, so for you yes. guys that don't know, um, his ability, his, his one attach ability, he must be a VMAX while he's on the bench going too active or else it's not going to knock out the, the, um, the opposing to get that opponents. additional damage because yep. it only does 30 base and then it can hit for 150, which yes. is really nice for, you know, that quick energy in there. But here's the, here's the kicker. Not taking out that hound doom is going to allow that energy acceleration in for single strike. Mm -hmm. um, and really leaning into the cricketune here. Uh, I think one of the interesting things about uh, Scott's opponent, Pasture, uh, is the fact that he has no Crobats or Dedenes in this deck at all. Nope. Uh, purely, which... purely just going off the one cricketune that he has. Right. Now, oh, getting that. He's going to get three energies. And if he can get a rotate here, this is going to be a beatdown attack for 100 something damage. But no, that's not going to happen. Okay. So, Scott has options um i don't know if he ne needs the mimikyu or any of those jirachis to really do anything so there is options let's see what he has in deck garatina won't work unless he gusts something um right. he could do additional Go. pings here i don't know about doing the ping here damage oh, uh, here my my so i probably wouldn't have either because now he's marning again giving him a um a bigger hand size I'm not yep. a super big fan of that. I might have, for me, I'm an aggressive player. So whenever I quick balled, I might have went for the Dedene. And that's what I was it, about to say. I think the Dedene is the right call on that. So one. It, um, especially in this matchup, it's not as big of a deal, um, because he his opponent is not going to be hitting the bench. He's just going right. to be hitting the active and and or uh, scoop up netting. Uh, or I'm sorry, boss is ordering something, but he's never going to ping something. So like if it was a mirror match, it might be a little different because he, he can set up multi kills in one turn. But uh, mm -hmm. so we'll but he see. does, but he does get the one attack. He does get uh, that switch, and it was nice play getting the scoop up net, uh, and then coming in and immediately knocking out that hound doom, which is important. Yes. Uh, again, slowing it down against the single strike or shifus. As soon as as soon as you slow down a uh, single strike, but. You know, he's going to come in, hit him with a beat down. You know, his rapid strike doesn't do enough damage to knock it out. And then he's just going to return fire and completely knock out. I think his he gets the one hit, so, the one shot right here. Ah, do you think he's going to be able to get it? He has to get three single strike energies down. And he, we know he only has two urns left. Is it two? He has or two. He's used one urn. And we mm -hmm. don't know if any of them are prized. But yeah, that is the case here. Oh, I saw energy. And the Hound Doom, oh, nice there play. Is, is nice play by his opponent. So Krikatoon can do his max effect. He can go down to the bench, have four cards, and he can take that one hit right now. I think he already used it, so he won't be able to right No, he now. just evolved. Well, I know, I know, but I think he used it to get those cards to be able to get to that point. Okay, well, he uh, can still, he can mm -hmm. still he retreat, can still and, he can still, retreat and he can still out. hit and knock out for sure. Yeah. All right, so as Scott's long as he has that was... other energy, so oh, he didn't. Okay, I was wrong on that one, but he did. Wow, <laughs> so four wonderful cards. I'm surprised he didn't use the Hound Doom ability the dojo. there. The dojo is huge here, yes. Um, so I, I don't think he even needs that other energy because it does, he's no. behind on price cards. So I think he just takes knockout here, he just gets and it here. Scott this... is super behind at this point, yeah. This and now big. he'll Hound Doom to the other one, and he's <laughs> he's starting to um yeah set up yeah, his but, backup attacker so this is yep. kind of devastating for scott oh that's a big knockout 350 damage there it goes single strike when it wants to hit it hits like a truck yeah all right i'm gonna reopen that betting pole uh to let those uh go into the betting and see if they want if you want a chance so excellent i'll, I'll put an example in the chat if you want to i'm putting my bet on um, uh 
pasture right now. Oh, it's such a, it's, oh, it's so so disheartening not uh, voting for Flo TK, uh, <laughs> our our brothers over there. <laughs> but I'm such a big fan of single strike. <laughs> I no. mean, so for me, I do like the the rapid strike better. Uh, but it, again, when when uh, the single strike sets up, it is so scary because it doesn't take a whole lot uh, to knock things out once it sets up. Now, the question I have for you is, okay, so we know for sure one urn is down. He only plays three in his deck list. Does that mean, um, or is that possible that, you know, he might be in trouble uh, going forward, not yes. having, <laughs> if he prized an urn and didn't get it, um, he might just not be able to respond hit this next turn. If he doesn't have a scroll out right now, um, he does have two scroll, uh, scroll, scroll yeah, of scorn. scorn for sure. Um, in the deck list, but we don't know what he has at the moment. Right, yeah. With it, I mean, he has three cards still prized, so it's a good lead there, but like you said, it is mm -hmm. going to come down to uh, Lone, Lone Wolf is with me. He, I love single strike, um, but it is going to come down to the fact that he, he's, he's going to struggle with that already using of the urn really early on, and he could be stalled. He could just be stalled out mm -hmm. for multiple turns, and it, this would allow you know Scott to come return. Okay, so he's playing one, so that was really important um, to get that second one down. So he has only one left. There, he got the scroll. Wow, he is going hot with his atta uh, attachments there. I believe he attached a capture energy and getting the Mew down. Well played, well executed. Uh, right here and getting another hound door out this is another good solid move get that bench face filled up and then he'll probably crick a tune soon if he hasn't done so already yes so that should be enough to knock out the jirachi yep mm -hmm. getting three prize so cards then he's so just a boss be away for taking that to dene or crobat and being able to hit obviously he's going to have to <laughs> well yeah that jirachi's already gone um, so he could definitely, if he gets another energy down and a boss, he is in a very good position here for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no matter what next turn, one of those Urshifus are hitting for a hundred, uh, because of beat down and he, cause he could easily just manually attach and then do one of the hound dorms, hound dooms. And that's, that's it. That's going to be game. So I think Scott is, I don't, I don't know. I don't see it for, um, now does Scott have any kind of reset, uh, stamp in his list? Let's go ahead and go check that. I don't believe so. Uh, when he was showing it earlier, Hey, mm -hmm. thank you again for the follow there. Um, uh, ton, Kais ton. And there we go. There's <laughs> yeah, the knockout. Thank you for the follow for sure. So that yeah, thank puts you. us to 48. I, I... Uh, that actually reminds me, uh, since we're there. Um, if we hit 50, we're going to be giving away um, some Champions Path uh, online packs to somebody in the chat. Uh, so definitely, we just need two more follows to hit that goal. And then we'll be giving away 10 to somebody in the chat. So if you Ooh. are in chat, um, we'll, we'll be kind of giving away by that guess that Pokemon type game. And you can go ahead and, you know, hopefully get um, some big packs and, and the more followers we get the more we definitely will be given out tonight for sure heck yeah definitely um yeah so scott is responding here he's got three energy down the rapid mm -hmm. strike and a uh fighting energy on his uh his Ur urshifu v max uh, i think the interesting thing here is now dojo is in play for him Ooh, that Tina's you... pretty good there yeah well here's the issue getting the mew down is m really important mm -hmm. uh the garatina play really big here but do you just gale thrust i think you do yeah you, you just can't... gale thrust uh yep. you can't hit through that mew right now right um so you just gale thrust for now and hopefully um he doesn't have much of a response at this point uh yep. and then you knock this uh the active out without much but it doesn't look like oh, that's the case here's the boss, so here's the boss. Sorry, there's this the is boss it. there it is yep. there it is there's so the well the... played and there's knockout for the dub all right so wow. that was a close that was a good game by both good people game. or both sides thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and take a look at another one of our videos here also if you haven't done so yet hit subscribe because we're a long way in helping us grow remember we release a podcast episode once a week on all the major platforms we also stream every friday on twitch and make a whimsy watch monthly report 